to know that a man who was so young, he was 39 years old when he died, which is really young, to know that a man so young would sacrifice his life teaching nonviolence, social change through nonviolence. I remember the social, social change through nonviolence. How could you be so courageous? The courage of a man that young. And I wish that the message could be to young people, um, stop the violence. You know, we have so much violence on our streets today. I just wish that young people would go and see the film Selma. Young people would read about the life of Dr. King and his message. And we absolutely must find ways to stop the violence on the streets of Baton Rouge and here in America. There's another picture that you've shown us that's very special to you. Describe that picture. The, um, the photograph that I showed you earlier is a photograph that my father took at Victory Baptist Church with my uncle seated to the right of, um, of Dr. King. Um, my father was a photographer, as you saw in the picture at the prayer pilgrimage. And we have several photographs of Dr. King uh, with my uncle, Reverend Arthur Atlas Peters, who was from Louisiana, actually. Coming up, the dream lives on. That and more as we continue. But first, if you'd like more information about the museum, visit their website at AfricanAmericanMuseum.org. We'll be right back. This is Sunday Journal. Welcome back. I'm John Pasterek. Well, tomorrow the nation pauses to remember and reflect on the dream of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. It's a history that comes alive every day here at the River Road African American Museum in Donaldsonville. We continue our conversation with museum founder and executive director, Kathy Hambrick Jackson. Good morning. Good morning. I want to say welcome to the Donaldsonville Ark, and I'm so happy that you all were able to join us here at the River Road African American Museum in Donaldsonville. What has been asked over the last few years by President Obama is that people do community service on the King holiday. And so it is really, really very important that you, um, as adults, that we take our children out somewhere in the community to do community service. The Ark of Donisonville has been involved with us for the past five years, and we plan a community garden. And people in the neighborhood here come out to help the museum um, in many, many ways. And I would just offer to the greater Baton Rouge community, if you'd like to volunteer at the River Road African American Museum, to give us a call. We're looking for tour guides, who we call ambassadors. And we're also looking for teachers to help us develop a teacher's institute here and to further our mission of education so that we can fulfill the dream of Dr. King. Um, our young people need to know this history so that they can understand that they have opportunities now that their grandparents did not have. And by learning about the history of African Americans in this rural area, we think that we can help them become better citizens. Many special programs coming here at the museum. On Monday, we're actually taking 100 high school um, children to see the movie Selma. And we have an essay contest with a $100 first prize to the winner of the essay contest. So we have young people from Donisonville, Gonzales, and Baton Rouge of all ethnic backgrounds who are going to meet at the Perkins Row Theater at 11.15 on Monday. Dr. King's holiday in his memory to learn about the history of the march across the Pettus Bridge in Selma, Alabama. What's the lesson you want those kids to learn from the movie, but overall on that day? I want for the young people to understand that there were people of all ethnic backgrounds and all religious backgrounds who were a part of the civil rights movement. And I hope that they are able to form new friendships with each other and I'm hoping that um, they will also think about ways that they can improve race relations in the future in their own communities. So what's next for the museum? Next for the museum is to get our Rosenwald School opened um, and to get our STEM, Science, Technology, Engineering, and Math program underway. Well, Kathy, thanks for the tour, but more importantly, 
Thanks for keeping this history alive. Thank you so much, John. <laughs> Thank you. For more information on the River Road African American Museum, visit their website at africanamericanmuseum.org. That's africanamericanmuseum.org. There you can get more information on the schedules, exhibits, and special programs. And we leave you with some of the wisdom of Dr. King from his most famous sayings and quotes. Our narrator, Kathy Hambrick Jackson. I'm John Pasterek reporting today from Donaldsonville. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next week on Sunday Journal. Life's most persistent and urgent question is, what are you doing for others? Our lives begin to end the day we become silent about things that matter. Faith is taking the first step, even when you don't see the whole staircase. The ultimate measure of a man is not where he stands in moments of comfort and convenience, but where he stands at times of challenge and controversy. If you can't fly, then run. If you can't run, then walk. If you can't walk, then crawl. But whatever you do, you have to keep moving forward. Thank you.